a bunch of friends in their 20s and 30s, living in a big city and figuring out life together. Yes, we're talking about the buddies from the famous sitcom, Friends, that defined an era of squad goals. Although they didn't live across the hall from one another, or couples didn't tie the knot in real life, the cast of Friends still managed to be a legendary squad outside the show. Let's find out more about it. Welcome to Discernative Lee, one of the sweetest friendships or bonds that happened outside the show. Yes, we're referring to Jennifer Aniston and Courtney Cox. Jennifer Aniston, our very own Rachel Green, is the godmother of Courtney Cox's daughter, Coco Arquette. Recently, Courtney Cox got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and Jennifer Aniston and her goddaughter, Coco, were there for Courtney. Jennifer also broke down in tears as she leaned on her goddaughter, Coco. Also, do you know that when Jennifer broke up with Brad Pitt, Courtney took her in for the foreseeable future, just like Monica did with Rachel? Very few on-screen friendships make it to real life, and Courtney and Jennifer's bond is one of them, which has stood the test of time. Let's not leave our Phoebes behind. The famous girl gang, Phoebe, Rachel, and Monica, share a great connection in real life, have a group chat, and also appear on each other's social media accounts. Let's come to the evergreen and most iconic friendship duo in TV history. Yes, we're talking about Joey Tribbiani and Chandler Bing, played by Matt LeBlanc and Matthew Perry, respectively. Let's admit it. Most of us still go back to that Halloween episode when Joey surprises everyone by dressing up as Chandler. Hey. You didn't dress up either. Yes, I did. I'm Chandler. <laughs> he wears a sweater vest and khakis and does an incredibly funny expression of Chandler that everyone think is spot on, except Chandler. While these two are also real-life besties, and are often seen supporting each other, for example, in 2016, Matt LeBlanc went to support Matthew Perry at his play, The End of Longing in London, and fans considered it a Chandler and Joey's reunion. After he appeared at the 2016 Summer Television Critics Association press tour, Matt also talked about Perry with reporters, saying, I saw him yesterday. I love that guy. I cannot see him for five years and then get in a room together and still have that shorthand with each other. It's amazing, really. Ten years in a building with no windows and the doors locked, we got to know each other pretty well. Here's a fun thing. Although all the six friends of the show share a great bond off-screen, fans felt a little betrayed when Matt and Matthew weren't invited to Jennifer and Justin's wedding. However, when asked about it, Matt said, I think they're a great couple. I think she's happy. And that's all I care about is that Jen's happy. He also said that Jennifer is like his little sister. Courtney and Lisa are like his big sisters. And he considers Matthew and David as his little and big brother, respectively. 27th of May 2023, HBO Max released the much-awaited Friends, the reunion, where the main cast was reunited and reminisced about their time filming and the bond they formed over the years while also talking about what made the show special. Before the reunion, David Schwimmer said that he would see everybody for the first time in many years. Although he's not as close to his former cast members as others, he was just as excited about the reunion as the rest. Watching your favorite show with friends makes it better, and that's what Phoebe and Ross did. David got together with Lisa to watch the reunion, and Lisa also posted a selfie on Instagram. Apart from that, this squad also catches up with each other occasionally over a cup of coffee and are indeed an unforgettable part of each other's lives. Remember when Courtney and Matthew had lunch together and posted a selfie? Courtney's caption, guess who I had lunch with today? I know, could I be any happier? Just like Chandler's style in the show, left all fans with a bittersweet feeling. Following the Friends reunion, all six main cast members joined James Corden in a very special version of Carpool Karaoke, which was in a golf car. All of them took a ride down memory lane singing the Friends theme song, I'll Be There For You. Keeping it brief, Friends still remains a legendary sitcom that is not seen to be surpassed by any other show anytime soon. Here's to hoping that our favorite squad remains connected forever. That's it for today's video. Tell us in the comments about other friendships from this sitcom we missed. Discernitively, we'll be waiting for your feedback. Watch our next video about why Breaking Bad is one of the greatest shows ever, or the one down below, uncovering five lesser-known facts about Prison Break, a famous crime show.